Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Henning's class video about complementary and supplementary angles. Our learning goal, rather obviously, is that you will be able to solve problems involving complementary and supplementary angles. Bet you couldn't see that coming. Okay, so let's get started. So we kind of need to first know what complementary and supplementary angles are. Alright, each of these describes a set of two angles. In the case of complementary angles, these are two angles whose measures add to 90 degrees. Alright, well what does 90 degrees look like? It looks like a right angle. So, I'll draw a right angle. Complementary angles are two angles that, whose measures add to 90 degrees. So I'm going to split this into two angles. Okay. I have a set of complementary angles. The first angle here might be 60 degrees. The second one might be 30 degrees. Okay, those are complementary angles. We could also have had 50 and 40, 20 and 70, and so on and so forth. For supplementary angles, it's very similar. Okay, these are two angles whose measures add to 180 degrees. What does 180 degrees look like? Well, it looks like a straight line. Okay, there's 180 degrees. I could split this into two angles. Alright, and I've got two angles whose measures add to 180 degrees. For example, this first angle might be 120 degrees and the other 60 degrees. Okay, supplementary angles. Before I move forward, let me give you some way to remember which of complementary and supplementary is 90 and 180. If you were to take the C in complementary, you can form 90 out of that. If you take the S in supplementary, you can draw a 180 out of that. There, there's a way you can remember which one is which. Alright, these complementary and supplementary angles are actually special cases of the angle addition postulate. If you remember from what we did before, the angle addition postulate says that if I have two angles that are adjacent to each other, such as in this situation, I can say that the first angle, which I'll call A, plus the second angle, which is B, those measures add up to the measure of the entire angle, which is C. Piece plus piece equals the whole thing. Complementary angles are just a specific case where I have specified that the whole thing is 90 degrees. Our equation for complementary angles is then A plus B equals 90 degrees because I have stated already that the whole angle is 90 degrees. In the case of supplementary angles, I have specified that the measure of the angle is 180 degrees. Okay, so our equation in this case would be A plus B equals 180 degrees. This is again just the angle addition postulate where I have specified that the entire angle must be 180 degrees. We give special names to them because 90 degrees and 80, 180 degrees come up rather frequently in applications. Let's look at a few examples. So in example one it's asking if measure of angle 3 is 68 degrees find the measure of the complement of angle 3. Before we solve the problem I want to point out that the word complement here is the noun version of complementary. The word complementary is an adjective, 
It describes what kind of angles we're talking about. The complement is the other angle that makes it add up to 90 degrees. So in this case, we have an angle that measures 68 degrees. I didn't really draw that to scale, that's okay. So the complement of angle 3 would be whatever it takes to make it add up to 90 degrees. How would we find that? Well, if I take 90 and I subtract 68, then I would get 22. Okay, so the other angle must be 22 degrees. That's the complement of 68 degrees because it adds up to 90. Similarly, for example 2, it says if measure of angle B is 122 degrees, find the measure of the supplement of angle B. Well, supplement means that they would, it's the other angle that makes it add up to 180. So if I take 180 minus 122, I would get 58. So, therefore, the supplement of 122 degrees is 58 degrees. Then, let's look at the next two examples. Here, it asks us to express the complement of angle 1 in terms of x. Any time that a question asks you to put something in terms of x, that means that x is in your answer. Your answer will be expressed as a sentence or equation that uses x. How would I express the complement of measure of angle 1 in terms of x? Well, okay, here's a situation. We've got 90 degrees, and one of those angles is x. What's the measure of the other angle? Well, going back to what we did before, we just subtracted that angle from 90 to figure out the measure of the other angle. So this other angle could be expressed as 90 minus x. There, that's an expression in terms of x that gives us the measure of the complement. In the case of the second example, we have supplementary angles, one of which is y. To figure out what its supplement is, I would take 180 degrees and subtract y. So the measure of the other angle is 180 minus y. Alright, let's do another couple examples. Of course you knew I had to throw algebra in it, didn't you? Okay, so here we have a situation with complementary angles. So we know they're going to add up to 90 degrees we know that these other two pieces must add up to that 90 degrees. So I could say that 5x plus 4x plus 9 equals 90 degrees. There, we can just solve the equation from here. So I could combine these like terms right here, getting 9x plus 9 equals 90 degrees. I would need to subtract 9 from both sides to get x by itself leaving me with 81 on that side and 9x on this side. From there, we could divide both sides by 9 to figure out that x equals 9. Are we done? No, of course not. We would need to plug in x equals 9 to the individual pieces of the angle. So, 5 times 9, in this case, for the measure of angle LJK, is 45 degrees. So I could say that measure of angle... LJK is, oopsie, 45 degrees. All right, well, what about the other angle? If I do 4 times 9, that's 36, add another 9, that would also be 45 degrees. So the measure of angle MJL is also 45 degrees. In this case, the ray JL bisects that angle. A co two complementary angles which are bisected are 45 degrees each. We could say that JL bisects angle MJK.